good morning. Ask me anything Thursday. Getting ready to hit the road for Colorado, so a little, little chaotic here this morning. And I hope someone joins us. Uh, and you know, even if you don't aren't with me live, if you like the content, uh, ask someone, a friend of yours who may be not in our group, to pop in and ask to join. Um, I don't know if there's a way to share these pieces of content um, outside the group. I have to figure that out. But I'd love for you to share. This morning's topic we're going to talk about is sleep. Mm, do we get any? Are you sleeping? I have to tell you my spiritual gift is sleeping. <laughs> and napping. I can nap. I think, um, who was it? Ronald Reagan and Bob Hope. <laughs> Names from the past. Both were great nappers. They would just close their eyes and take little 20 minute uh, naps here and there. And it felt like it helped them um, with their, their disposition. Historically, we slept when the sun went down and woke up when the sun came up. And that was our cycle, our sleep rhythm, or another fancy word is circadian rhythm. And uh, that got disrupted as we created um, candles, lighting fuel, uh, and then electricity, for sure, allowed us to stay up much past what our normal cycle would have been. And then we can blame a lot of it on Johnny Carson. <laughs> the late night show, the Tonight Show. People were staying up much later watching television, but still having to get up early. So we've, in the past, I don't know, generation since World War II, we've been creating disrupted and chaotic sleep cycles. We know that disruptive sleep, um, especially as a young mom, you know, you're deprived sleep or you only get sleep in two hour sections, really plays havoc on the body. Um, it's been proven that one night of deprived sleep raises your cortisol so high and, um, and the next day you still have high cortisol. So cortisol is our stress, you know, response hormone. And some people tell me, well, Leslie, I'm a night owl. Well, what happens a lot of times as young moms, we get everybody put to bed, we get everything done, and then we still stay up folding laundry or reading a book or catching up on emails and things. And what happens there is the body says, oh, she's still awake. I need to give her a second wind. And so you catch a second wind and your body is, again, the cycle of sleep versus wakeness gets disrupted. And it's important to know that lack of sleep does lead to illnesses, chronic illnesses. Lack of sleep has been proven to lead to um, dementia of all kinds. So I try to encourage developing a really, really healthy sleep routine. The hormone that we think of for sleep is melatonin. Sleep, cortisol for action and response. Let me do this the other way. The way. <laughs> cortisol in the morning should be high and we've used up all our melatonin by sleeping. And in response to daylight, sunlight on our eyes, we have receptors, combs, on the back of the retina that sends the light signal to the pineal gland at the base of the brain to produce melatonin. So here we are, we're in the morning time, we've used up all our melatonin, and as the day goes on, our cortisol gets worn out, but in response to daylight, we build up our melatonin. And then we go to sleep, and the opposite happens. And that's ideal. It doesn't always work that way. One of the challenges that I ask for my clients, especially since you stay up late and you watch email and TV and things, is the first thing when your feet hit the ground out of bed, well, first of all, is you drink 12 ounces of water. Mm. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate right away. And if some of you are using my lemon liver flush, my liver cleanse, the lemon drink I've taught you to make, we'll talk about that one time. But it's to get sunlight on your eyes first thing I don't care if it's if you're up at five, if you're up at six, if you're up at eight, go straight outside. I know it's hot, 
but get five minutes, two, three, five minutes without sunglasses of sunlight on your eyes. And that's going to trick your, your pineal gland to say, oh, I've got to produce melatonin for tonight's sleep. See if that doesn't help. Um, we think that our that because of the timing is, is off for our sleep routines, we need to, when we talk about it, build a sleep routine. We do that with our children. We have supper, we have a little playtime, we bathe them, we have story time, we sing to them, prayer, and go to bed. Just as important for us to have a sleep routine. And so, um, I don't know that we could do it every night. I certainly haven't had a hot bath. Oh, I had a hot bath yesterday. I came home really tired and stressed out, y'all. I don't get stressed very often, but I had some disturbing news. And uh, so I have a lot of anxiety. So I took my hot bath with my magnesium flakes and my lavender scented CBD Epsom salts. And I'll show you where I get those too. When we're putting together a resource list, you know, a lot of times you can order things from me, through me, through full script, but there's a lot of products that I recommend all the time um, for Amazon. So I'm trying to see if I can get some credit from Amazon. Anyway, get into a routine. I do have a friend that takes a hot bath every night. That's been part of her routine. Um, dim the lights. Actually duplicate sunset in your home. It used to bother me because I felt like darkness was depressing, but I know now that by bringing the lights down, I'm getting the body ready for sleep. Um, got to have a cold room. Got to have a dark room. Invest in blackout shades, blackout curtains, a sleep mask if you need it. Um, but that's the ideal conditions for it. Now, I have had clients that say, Leslie, I stay up till 12, 1 o'clock. How, how am I going to do that? And I said, for one week, if you're normally in bed by 11, set your, go to bed by 1045, just for a week. See if you can't make that 15-minute shift. Then the next week, see if you can't make another 15-minute shift to 1030. You see, according to um, Chinese medicine and ancient medicine, our body organs all have a time on the clock. And one of the cr critical organs um, is our liver. We talked last week about detoxification and autophagy and how things happen at night. Well, if you're waking every night between 2 and 3 or 2 and 4, right around 3, PM, 3 a.m., that tells you that your liver is being called upon to produce and release uh, glucose because while you're sleeping, your brain's still working, your heart's still beating, you're breathing, and that all requires energy, energy in the form of glucose that the liver releases so that it, the body can keep going. And if that's happening a lot, we want to say, okay, are we, do we have too many, are we taking too many meds, alcohol, the liver's having to detox, or could it be you're having kind of a hypoglycemic moment in the middle of the night? Sometimes it would require Mm, a quarter of an apple with some almond butter, just a little, or a cracker, just to kind of keep the liver uh, and the body um, fueled for the night. Also brings up the topic of um, sleep meds. Now, y'all, I had a client that was, I've had two clients that have said, I've been taking Benadryl for 10 years to go to sleep. <gasps> Practitioner's nightmare. Oh, I just can't tell you. Or Ambien, you know, any of those sleep meds that have really serious bad side effects. They de deplete your body of nutrients, they damage your brain, um, clog up your liver, but we do have some nice alternatives. You could take a little bit of melatonin. Uh, during this COVID period, my physician has recommended a melatonin with B6 in it, not for the sleep aspect, but for the antiviral um, capability. And if you're interested in that, Drop me a line and I'll set you up on full script. It's a melatonin B6 from Biotics Research. You can also try um, some CBD. CBD is very effective for sleep. This is the company here in Dallas called Thrive, T H R Y V Organics.com. And you can reach out to them. I have a code for folks. I think it's RedeemWell25, something like that. They have a money back guarantee, by the way. You buy any of their products and it doesn't work for you, you don't like it, they send you your money back. You don't even have to send the product back in. But they also make a gorgeous bath bomb. So again, to help you relax. 
um, some salves, uh, gummies, if that's your option, and gummies for dogs to calm them down. So this is a product that's in my home. There's a couple other things from Biotics Research and different companies that um, this one's called Alpha Theta Ultra. It's herbs and it's amino acids. There's nothing medicinal pharmaceutical in this type of product. Now, being that said, this might not work the first night. This might not work the first night. Unlike a Tylenol, which kind of works immediately, or a Benadryl, your body has to say, oh, I like this, I'm going to use it, and we start using it and incorporating it. Uh, if you're interested, two of the books that I really like is Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams. This is kind of this is kind of heavier, a heavier read, and I look at it and thought, I don't I haven't really earmarked and put yellow marks all over it. This one, woohoo! Lose weight, supercharge your energy, and transform your health from morning to midnight. The circadian code. This one is earmarked and highlighted everywhere. And so, if you're interested in a read about sleep, these are two that I recommend. If you would like to try Thrive Organics, that would help with your sleep. Great drops under the tongue. Um, anti-stress, anti-anxiety. Oh, speaking of anxiety, let's just do that. Hmm, got a little lemon flavor. If you want to know more about this product, email me, leslie at redeemingwellness.com and I can tell you about that, or the melatonin B6. Tell me, do you have sleep problems? Does it bother you? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> hey, Sabrina, <laughs> thank you for popping in. But I think sleep is important overall. It's very anti-aging, which is, you know, we're all going to age, but it's how we're aging, right? And getting a good night's sleep is so important. Mm -mm -mm. Reach out to me. Um, send me some suggestions for next week. Ask me anything Thursday. I'm going to be in Colorado. Um, but I'll have Wi-Fi and my iPad, and I think we can do this successfully. I've so enjoyed being with you all every week, and I love the suggestions um, for what to talk about. So until next week, signing off, Leslie with Redeeming Wellness.